Hey guys, now in this video we shall see one of the most important and expected concepts in environmental engineering that is nothing but oxygen sac curve and street at pulse equation. Now without wasting time, let's start with the first question. The reoxygenation coefficient of stream is 0.3 at 20 degrees Celsius. So they have given the reoxygenation coefficient that is nothing but K suffix R for a stream that is 0.3 at 20 degrees Celsius. Now we have to find the KR value at 32 degrees Celsius. So this is based on the reoxygenation and deoxygenation concept. We shall see what is the formula required to find the value of KR at any uh, T degree Celsius. So here the answer is option C 0.36 that is KR is equal to 0.36 at 32 degrees Celsius. So how to calculate that? Let's see the formula. KR at T degree Celsius is given as KR at 20 degree Celsius into 1.016 power T minus 20. So here we have to substitute T value as 32 degree Celsius. In degree Celsius only we have to substitute. If at all they have given in Kelvin or any other degree Fahrenheit, then we have to convert that into degree Celsius and then substitute here as capital T value. So here 32 minus 20, uh, which is raised uh, to the base like 1.016 and multiplied that with KR at 20 degrees Celsius that is given here as 0.3. So we will get the answer as 0.36 in this question. So on this formula it will be applicable only when the temperature given is greater than 20 degrees Celsius. So here we have 32 degrees Celsius so it is greater than 20 then we can use this formula KR at T degrees Celsius equal to KR at 20 degrees Celsius into 1.016 power T minus 20. What if a temperature is less than 20 degrees Celsius. Then we have to use this formula to calculate the reoxygenation coefficient that is KR at T degrees Celsius. That is nothing but KR at 20 degrees Celsius into 1.024 power T minus 20. So these two formulas are regarding reoxygenation coefficient. And what is reoxygenation coefficient actually? You can see in this uh, diagram. This is the uh, oxygen sag curve and this is the deoxygenation and this blue dotted lines blue broken lines is the reoxygenation curve. So slope of this uh, reoxygenation curve or rate at which or the coefficient is the reoxygenation coefficient and red line or red dotted broken line is the deoxygenation and that is given by KD. Now let's see the formulas for KD value. So deoxygenation coefficient at T degree Celsius is given by KD at 20 degree Celsius into 1.047 raised to the power T minus 20. Again, this formula will be applicable only when the given temperature or actual temperature is greater than 20 degrees Celsius. When the actual temperature or the given temperature that is like here 30 degrees Celsius, uh, which uh, then it is less than 20 degrees Celsius, then we have to use this formula. KD at T degrees Celsius equal to at 20 degrees Celsius into 1.056. So we have to keep an eye on this uh, constant or coefficient value 1.016, 024, 047, 056. Accordingly, we have to substitute and find the answer for coefficient of oxygenation, maybe reoxygenation or deoxygenation at T degree Celsius, whichever is given. So these are the four formulas regarding uh, coefficient values for reoxygenation and deoxygenation. And this is the oxygen sag curve. You can see here, this is the critical deficit point and this is the oxygen deficit at any time T. We shall see the deficit oxygen deficit formulas in the upcoming question. Now let's move on to second one. When a sewage is disposed of in a river, the rate of depletion of dissolved oxygen of river mainly depends on. So this is a, like uh, sewage is disposed of in a stream. Here they have mentioned as a river. What will be the rate of uh, depletion, uh, depletion of the dissolved oxygen of river? Actually, river will contain zero BOD and uh, dissolved oxygen more. Yeah, act, yeah natural river. So the rate of depletion of that dissolved oxygen will be de mainly depending on the BOD of sewage. So if uh, BOD is higher in a sewage, then rate of depletion of dissolved oxygen of that river will be more. So accordingly, that will the rate of depletion will change. So BOD is the main criteria that is uh, that is affecting the rate of depletion of that is affecting the dissolved oxygen content in the river or natural stream. 
which is used to discharge the sewage or pollutants and we shall see the relevant formulas and uh, how Streeter Phelps equation is uh, based. The rate of depletion of DO coincides with the rate of BOD exertion that we have seen in this question and dy by dt dy by dt is nothing but d capital d by d that is oxygen deficit at any time t that is uh, differentiated with respect to time t and that is uh, nothing but minus dc by dt why minus because it is the rate of depletion so because of depletion only the minus or the negative sign is there c is the concentration and yt is the BOD at any time t so that is nothing but L naught L naught is the ultimate BOD minus LT L suffix t is nothing but oxygen equivalent of organics at any time t so differentiating these two things will give the answer for BOD at any time t and DC by DT that is so concentration at any time t is equal to minus DLT by DT so we know what is LT and that is given uh, on solving or observing the things that is equal to minus k l naught e power kt k are the oxygenation coefficients so this is the base uh, derivatives to derive the streeter phelps equation now let's move on to third question the value of saturation do at 20 degrees celsius is so this question is completely based on the saturation do and uh, initial DO or D, uh, DO deficit, we shall see the formulas regarding the DO deficit. First, we shall see the saturation DO. So, the value of saturation DO at 20 degrees Celsius is what? Here, the option is option B 9.17 milligram per liter. Now, this is a standard uh, value for saturation DO. Similarly, we have saturation DO at 0 degree and 30 degree. At 0 degree Celsius, it shall be. 14.6 milligram per liter 20 degrees celsius it will be 9.17 at 30 degrees celsius it shall be 7.60 milligram per liter so upon increasing the temperature the saturation saturation do is decreasing so that is why uh, a cool or cold uh, sewage will have or the river uh, river stream will have high saturation do a warm river or the warm stream will have lower saturation do that means the Purification for the river will be very less in case of higher temperature. So that is the uh, inference from the saturation DO and we shall see the deficit formulas. Oxygen deficit is nothing but saturation DO minus actual DO. This deficit uh, we have already seen in the oxygen sag curve. What is that deficit? How it is pointing? Like uh, th if this is the oxygen sag curve, then this is the deficit at, uh, at any time T for example say and uh, maximum is the critical deficit that is d suffix c so from the oxygen sag sa curve we can calculate the uh, oxygen deficit so this is these are the formulas to calculate critical initial and uh, an oxygen deficit at any time t so oxygen deficit at any time is nothing but saturation do minus the actual do or the prevailing dissolved oxygen in the stream at any point or at, at any time t and critical deficit is the saturation do minus minimum do this is the critical deficit and initial deficit is given by saturation do minus do mix do mix is nothing but when the sewage is mixing with the um, river stream that at the at the time of mix what is the do with do prevailing that is the do mix we shall see how to calculate this do mix and mixer uh, concentration when sewage is uh, being uh, discharged into the river stream that we shall see in the next question now we shall study only the uh, saturation do and oxygen deficit so these are the formulas and things regarding the saturation do and uh, oxygen deficit now let's move on to fourth question so for the next two question please consider the following details a wastewater treatment plant disposes its effluents into a stream at a point a Assume that oxy deoxygenation rate uh, at uh, 20 degrees Celsius is given as 0.2 per day. So they have mentioned the deoxygenation and also the reoxygenation or reaeration rate. Anything can be called. Reoxygenation or reaeration rate is given as 0.4 per day for the mixture. The velocity of the stream concentration of point A is 
um, 0.2 meter per second so velocity of the stream is given as 0.2 meter per second we have to determine the critical oxygen deficit and its location and all other things in the next upcoming two questions and we have to refer these two table also for interpolating or finding the values for the respective temperature or the given parameter now let's move on to the question select the correct answers for the previous given data so what will be the do mix at the time of mixing of sewage and river stream and what will be the l capital l or l naught is nothing but the ultimate bod value so what will be the ultimate bod value of sewage from the given data and what will be the do mix that we have to select so options a and b are correct do mix is 6.29 milligram per liter and ultimate bod is 21.45 milligram per liter now let's see how and what is the formula to be used to calculate this first do mix so do mix is given by do of stream into discharge in stream plus do of uh, or we can say this is s yes is denoting sewage actually r is stream or river stream so do of sewage into discharge of uh, sewage plus do of river stream into discharge in river divided by the total discharge so that will give as the do mix or the mix uh, dissolved oxygen at the time of mixing of sewage and uh, river stream so we have the values of do uh, of sewage as 2 milligram per liter and the quantity of uh, sewage is 0.2 uh, relevant details are substituted here so that we can get the answer as 6.29 milligram per liter for do mix so this is the formula to be used to calculate the uh, mix mixed concentration similarly we have bod mix so BOD mix also the same approach has to be followed BOD of sewage into quantity of sewage plus BOD of river into quantity of uh, river divided by QS plus QR are the total quantity of river and sewage quantity means discharge like meter cube per second so here we got BOD mix as 13.57 the same approach has to be followed in case of temperature mix also what will be the mixer temperature when uh, sewage is uh, mixed with river the same approach has to be or the same formula has to be followed to find the temperature mix also so these three are the these are the approach or the formula to find the mixed concentration now we shall see the ultimate bod so why phi that is bod at five days bod after five days at 20 degrees celsius is given as ultimate bod that is l into one minus e power minus kdt why we have uh, substituted we have considered e here base e because in the problem they have mentioned base e has to be considered so that is why here we are not considering 10 to the power where we are considering only the e e to the power minus kdt so we have kd value t and uh, y that is bod5 value or we can say bod mix bod mix is 13.57 that has to be substituted here because the mix has to be found out after that the only l value has to be found that is the ultimate bod that is found as 21.45 milligram per liter just to substitute the uh, values like wi-fi as 13.57 and um, kd that is given already and t t is the 5 because 5 days so accordingly we can calculate the value of l so this is the formula and uh, we have found both the things so this is one extra thing actually this is uh, the a deficit at any time t oxygen deficit at any time t this is not asked but yet uh, we can learn as a um, extra point or the formula which is important actually d is equal to kd into l naught by kr minus kd 10 to the power minus kdt minus 10 to the power uh, minus krt here minus will be there minus krt uh, plus d naught into 10 power minus krt so this is one important formula regarding uh, deficit in order to find the deficit at any time uh, t now let's move on to the next question determine the critical oxygen deficit and its location so upon considering the given data in the previous one we have to determine the critical oxygen deficit so what is a critical oxygen deficit saturation divo minus minimum so 
by using that relation or the formula we can find the critical oxygen deficit and its uh, location so here we don't know uh, the minimum do or the minimum do thing so we cannot use critical oxygen deficit as such as and do minus the uh, minimum thing so we have to uh, use the other formulas let's see that formulas that is treter phillips equation so first let's consider the saturation do at 23.14 why 23.14 this is the mixed temperature so that we have to consider as 23.14 so at this temperature what will be the saturation do so they have given one table for saturation do at corresponding temperatures so upon considering that table uh, the, like this table uh, the 23.14 de degrees celsius is lying between 23 and 24 so just uh, by linear interpolation that is x minus uh, x2 minus x1 by x minus x1 equal to uh, y2 minus y1 by y minus y1 so that is the linear interpolation formula basic mathematical formula by using that we can find saturation do at 23.14 degrees celsius as 8.79 so between these two things uh, cs yes, that is the saturation do is lying so that is found as 8.79 and initial deficit is nothing but 8.79 minus 6.29 and that is given as uh, 2.5 milligram per liter and at 23.14 degrees celsius that is the temperature mix what is the kd and kr value so this kd and kr value is found uh, as the formula that we have already seen in the first uh, question so, so how to calculate the deoxygenation reoxygenation coefficient based on the given temperature when it is greater than 20 what is the formula to be used when it is greater than uh, when this is less than 20 what is the formula to be used so here it is greater than 20 degrees celsius then the relevant formula to be used uh, to find the kd and kr value that is here found as 0 0.098 and 0 0.185 you can pause this video and just to, uh, write it down and uh, like check these values now we shall calculate the time after which uh, critical do occurs so this is the uh, this is one streeter fells formula to find the time after which a critical do occurs why we have to find the time because we have to find the location at which critical oxygen deficit is occurring so we know the velocity of stream and if we know the time then time of critical uh, deficit then we can able to find the location from the point so tc is given as 1 by kd into f minus 1 log base 10 f into 1 minus of f minus 1 d naught by l so we know all the things kd we know f is nothing but self purification self purification constant that is nothing but ratio of reoxygenation coefficient to deoxygenation coefficient so we we can find the f value and upon substituting all the things d naught is the initial deficit that is nothing but we have we have found here 2.5 and L is the ultimate uh, BOD that also we have found in the previous question. And upon substituting the things uh, that is KD, F, D naught and L, we can find the TC value. And after TC value, we can find the distance. So velocity into travel time. Velocity of stream is given as 0.2 meter per second. And TC value was uh, found as 2.625 days. So convert that into seconds so that we can find uh, the answer in meters. So convert that into kilometer. So we can find finally as distance that is the location is 43.36 from uh, downstream. So 40, 45.36 uh, kilometers from the downstream side is the location at which critical oxygen deficit is occurring. So this formula is important to find the critical time. And this is the formula to be used here so that we can find the DC value that is critical oxygen deficit. So here we know L, F and D naught. So all the things are known. L by DC, F power F minus 1 equal to F into 1 minus of F minus 1 D naught by L. Just to simply this factor. The same factor has to be uh, substituted or the has to be used here. F into 1 minus of F minus 1 D naught by L. So upon substituting all the things, we can get the answer for DC. So this is the main formula. And this is the most important formula for streeter phelps equation. We can expect this uh, formula to be used uh, in any examination. Uh, we can expect like they, they give a F value, they give a, a L value. And upon all the things, we can find the value of DC that is critical oxygen deficit. 
so this uh, tcf and uh, this relation are the most important ones regarding street alpha's formula and the oxygen circle and regarding oxygen cycle uh, we need the formulas for reoxygenation coefficient and deoxygenation coefficients so we have studied all the things regarding street alpha's and oxygen cycle so thank you for watching the video please subscribe the channel